Go. So tonight for dinner on the homestead, we are having chili, homemade of course, with cornbread waffles. Now cornbread waffles may seem uh, different than just regular cornbread, why not? But it is kind of kid friendly and we sometimes like to change it up around here. So tonight I'm actually gonna show you how we make our cornbread waffles. I have started part of the process. There is two cups of cornmeal, one and a half cups of flour, and a tablespoon and a half of baking powder, plus a pinch of salt. Now to that, I'm gonna add six eggs, and because I am Jewish and kosher, I'm gonna do it one at a time, as I have to make sure all of our eggs are kosher. So there is one. And we actually do save our eggs for our compost. So that's gonna go into there, and then later we're going to actually clean them, microwave them, and then they'll get crushed and put into our compost. Two. Now I already have the waffle maker already is heated up. All I have to do is grease it, and I'll be able to pour in our waffles as soon as they're ready. There's three. Four. We have one more. So I'm gonna add in the last egg here. And then I'll be pouring in one and a half cups of milk. And one third cup of oil. Now, I'll be honest, I've never been good at measuring, so I kind of just eye it, that's the truth. Um, in fact, I've always had a hard time telling people my recipes because I just kind of go by my grandma's old adage, well, put it in there until it looks good. So put it in there until it looks good is not an actual volume of measurement. So I'm trying to learn how to uh, be more precise, especially for those of you out there who want to know what all of these recipes I make are. So now I'm going to whisk up. I'm gonna get everything whisked together till it's nice and smooth. And I actually think I might need to add just a little bit more of milk. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. As you can see, it's not white mixed up and it isn't easily pourable and that's kind of what we want it doesn't have to be the same as it would be for a normal waffle batter your traditional waffle batter but you do want to make sure that it is going to spread easily in your waffle iron so i'm going to add just a little bit at a time until i get the consistency that i am looking for That's my son on the camera. Sorry. See, it's getting there. It's a little more like it. So once we have this to the consistency that we want, we're going to oil our pan well, in this case, our waffle maker. Now I have this awesome uh, Belgian waffle maker that was gifted to me, and I've used it a few times. And what I like about it is it comes out so big and fluffy, you can literally split these waffles in quarters and still have a great big waffle all to yourself. So that's kind of what we're looking for right there. So what I'm gonna do is open up the waffle maker and I'm gonna give it a good spritz so our waffles do not stick. 
And then I'm gonna take some of the batter there because I know that it's nice and heated up. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it right into the middle, the same way as you would any waffle that you were making. And then we're just going to, yeah, see it's not spreading out. I'm probably gonna have to add a little more milk. But you know, part of cooking is, is learning. So we're gonna go ahead and close it down. Now a trick for any waffles, whether it's cornbread or your traditional waffle is, you don't wanna open this up until you see that there's no more steam coming off of your waffle maker. If you open it up before that, they're not gonna be completely cooked and they may kind of pull apart. So we're gonna wait until the steam is completely gone before we start opening up that waffle maker. And in the meantime, I am actually gonna add a little more milk to get this to a little lighter consistency. It's always nice to have someone on hand to, to help you out. In comes invisible milk hand. Again, I'm using whole milk here, but you really could use any milk that you uh, wanted to. Yeah, I think this is actually gonna do it. Now I know you can't really see it, but we do have steam now coming off of our waffle maker. I'm gonna go ahead and get out a plate so that we're ready. Now, instead of using a spatula, I actually like to pull out my waffles with my... Now, with my tongs. Now, I have two sets of tongs. One is like this, and then I have another that is rubber tipped, which probably got washed this morning because I do use it a lot. So, you know, part of me while well, I just go ahead and look around my kitchen. Ooh, look at that smoke. Well, that's actually steam, not smoke. <laughs> so as you can see, I hopefully you can see that it is steaming. And so we're waiting for that to stop before we open up the waffle maker. In the meantime, I have my wheat bread. If you saw my previous video, I'm actually in the middle of also working on this really beautiful wheat bread and as you can see it's looking very dandy it's been in for about 20 minutes so it's got about 20 minutes and then here was the earlier bread that that i made today and i wish we had smell o vision because i can tell you oh it smells heavenly and my kids gobble this up uh fast we have not gone back to store-bought bread since i started making this recipe one of the nice things about any time you, you cook at home and cook from scratch is it is not only healthier for you because you know what's going into everything, but it is a fraction of the cost. Two loaves of bread over there today, that cost me maybe 50 cents for both loaves. So a dollar, I'm getting four loaves of homemade bread that I know everything that went into it. The same here, I know everything that went into making these waffles. You can see they're still steaming up. They're still steaming up. Now, normally a waffle is gonna take between two to five minutes here to, to get nice and cooked. So I'll probably speed all this up. Okay, so as you can see here, the steam has stopped and that's really what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And if you take a look there, oh, that's beautiful. That is just beautiful. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these up. And like I said, you're gonna actually end up with this particular waffle maker that I have. You're gonna get, what is the equivalent of four? Four waffles every cup that I put in. And I know it doesn't go all the way to the edge, but that's not really something that any of my family cares about. So again, I wanna make sure that where it needs it is gonna get sprayed. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put in one more so you can see what we're doing next. In it goes. See, that's a much easier and much more pourable. I know, 
I don't English well, but that's okay. Much easier consistency to work with. So we're gonna go ahead and down it goes. But this is it, this is gonna be your cornbread waffle. Now you're gonna to top this with a homemade chili, that's what we're doing tonight. But this just could easily be a sweet breakfast item too. You could still put your butter, put some jelly, jam, maple syrup, whatever you like, and have a wonderful breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So from us here at Jennifer Farms, enjoy.